Good evening, America, and welcome to New November Presents, Truthfully XL. And let's just get straight into it, man. I think a lot of people get confused about the way a lot of niggas' minds work. You know what I mean? A lot of way a niggas' minds work. So when it comes to when it comes to a man and and peace, you know what I'm saying? Peace and just little glimpses of joy that that especially a street nigga could grasp when it comes to dealing with females speaking from speaking from a street nigga's perspective it's like they want us to be hard but they also want us to be kind and caring and sweet and all that shit and and in in reality a lot of us are kind and caring and sweet dudes you know what i'm saying especially to uh you know our significant other or female now once a hood nigga feels like he got his heart broken or some shit or feels like he 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 just lost you know what i mean he lost like he's like he's losing whatever female has his eye you know what i'm saying or he's losing whatever female has his heart he gonna start searching for outlets you know what i'm saying only fans he gonna start motherfucking paying for you know what i'm saying paying for shit you know not that's not even necessarily paying for pussy in 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 that sense like oh i'm trying to fuck but Cash having bitches, like bad bitches to come chill and shit like that. Like rappers do that shit all the fucking time. Famous niggas, celebrities do that shit all the fucking time. Every fucking day. And it's not because they're sleazy niggas and they just, oh, they just want they just want to fuck the baddest bitch. And he, he don't even care what he got to pay. He just going to get in there and get out because he got the bread. It's not even that. Sometimes niggas just really want company. Sometimes when niggas just really want to chill. Sometimes niggas really want to get to know this female, but he you know she about her business, so he about to motherfucking just pay her whatever. Like, come over, come sit, come smoke with the guys, come sit, come smoke with me. You know what I mean? And and that don't necessarily make that a bad nigga. It really don't necessarily make him a bad nigga, and it don't make her. You know what I'm saying? A thought if she ain't out doing thought shit with him. I mean, she could be doing thought shit with other niggas. That's fine, but in his eyes, she's just motherfucking Stacy. You know what I mean? But in the grand scheme of things, we all searching for the same thing. We all searching for companionship. We all we know don't nobody want to go to bed alone for the rest of their life. Don't nobody want to be, you know, what I'm saying heartbroken. Don't nobody want to be, you know what I mean? We as niggas don't have the luxury of being pretty bitches. We can't just take a photo, take a video, and everybody just be on our dick. Like, oh, yeah, well, what, you, what you doing? Let me like your picture 500 times in seven hours. You know what I'm saying? That's not... For a lot of us, that's not reality. So, what we gotta do is we gotta get we gotta get fresh. Gotta go to the mall. Gotta get our gear right. You gotta order some shit. You look good. You know what I'm saying? Go out and really talk to these females. And a lot of them, they superficial and they're just thinking like, oh, if you if you ain't you know what I'm saying? If you ain't out here in these streets, your name don't ring a bell. They not really trying to fuck with you anyway. You know what I mean? A lot of these females looking for a certain thing, especially the bad bitches. Especially the bad bitches. They either want drugs. They want you to be, you know what I'm saying? We want you to be a boss out here. Some other shit, you know, they, it's never re- uh, realistic. You know what I'm saying? People ain't looking for realistic partners. They looking for shit that they seen on the internet, shit that they seen on TV. They want you to have, you know what I'm saying, a certain credit score. <laughs> These girls is, you know, they're wild. But as niggas, we not checking for their credit score. We not wanting them to have a certain job. We not wanting, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that falls on us. We got to want more from the females that we're chasing. Because otherwise, we just going to be, you know what I mean? We just going to be serving and serving and serving and changing and changing and changing and doing what we got to do to to attract a certain female that, you know what I mean? Is only attracted to things that you can do or, or who you can become or who you are. Um, and in the present time, not, you know what I'm saying? Who you are as a person. But if you are lucky enough to find that person that does love you for you and does want to be with you and she just happens to be a bad bitch then man do what you got to do everything you got to do exalt every every outlet to make sure that she's comfortable make sure that she's you know what I'm saying feeling herself feeling she's feeling good you know what I mean I'm not gonna say that I've been a perfect nigga shit you know what I'm saying I've been out here trying to do what x y and z trying to you know what I'm saying see what's up with this bitch and that bitch and then the third and and I'm gonna be honest with you I I, in the moment, I felt like I was losing a part of myself, fucking around with all these bitches and trying to, you know what I'm saying? It, you, if you, 
If you can find somebody, again, if you can find somebody that really holds you down and really love you, stick with it, man. I don't give a fuck what, what it costs, what it takes. Stick with it. Love them back as much as you can, as hard as you can, because you don't want to lose that shit. You're going to be out here paying for pussy. <laughs> with that being said, man, it's been a great another uh, Truthfully XL. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking in with your boy. Um, and to my significant other, I love you. I will always love you. I care about you. And I don't believe that there's no other man in this world that is ever going to love and care about you the way that I care about you. They may love and care about you, but they would never love and care about you the way I care about you. Thanks for listening, Joe.